You can find anything music related from Lance at LanceThompsonMusic.com. If you want to find anything about Dream Big Interactive Initiative, you can go to DreamBigII.com. If you want to know anything about LBT Enterprise, you can actually go to LBTEnterprise.com. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sippin' Art, where God puts the awe in awesome. I'm your host, Brandon Windsor, and we got Lance Thompson and Renee in the house. Come Woo. on. Come on. Woo! <laughs> All right. Man, well, before we get started, it is time for the sippy. Are you guys ready? Absolutely. Yes. All right. Everyone lift up your mugs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Thank you, Lord, for this day that he has made for you and me. One, two, three. Man. Well, Lance you, Thompson, how are you guys doing? Man, we are blessed and highly favored. So glad to be here with you, Brandon. Uh, if you guys don't know your viewers, man, Brandon is such an amazing man of God, such an amazing human being, and man, it's a blessing and an honor to be here on Sipping All. Man, thank you so episodes, much. Man, man, it's great. Man, it's good to have you. I, I simply love watching you both worship. I love watching you guys spend time with the Lord. Praise God. Whenever you guys lead worship at church, it is all on a whole new level because you guys have an anointing on your life. Mm. And uh, so I just kind of want to start with that. Kind of tell people what you do and what you guys do as a, as a couple. Absolutely. Well, I'm a music artist. I'm a contemporary R&B artist. Um, I put out music frequently, put out music videos frequently. My wife and I together actually own a production company Very called cool. LBT, uh, e LBTE. And we also own another company called Dream Big Interactive Initiative, okay, very uh, cool. where we go out and do motivational speaking as well as a performance for elementary school level children. Wow. So it's been a blessing. And we also serve at Shreveport Community Church, which is an honor and a privilege an to do church. Yeah. alongside this guy. And uh, man, life has just been a beautiful journey. God has been good. He's been faithful. He's been just. He's been true. Yeah. Yes. And um, man, yeah. he's our all in all. What about you, Vernay? What 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 uh, position or what role do you play in those companies? Wow. Um, so I have a background in acting. Okay. And the roles that I play within the the company, directing, producing, um, just editing a lot of content. Very just cool. we've been blessed. We've been so blessed with um, LVT Enterprise, and then also the Dream Big. I'm the program director. For, cool. for um, that company. so Yeah, yeah. so kind of like, well, I'll start with these lands. When did this whole thing start? Were you a little kid who loved music, or did this kind of start later in your life when you realized you wanted to do music as a career? Oh, man. Uh, I realized I wanted to be an entertainer when I was three years old. Wow. I was at my home. We actually lived in Shreveport, Louisiana, in a two-bedroom apartment, myself, single-parent mom, older sister, younger brother, and we were in the living room watching a tube television, and the Motown 25th year anniversary came on, Okay. and Amazing Acts came on, Diana Ross came on, and just so many amazing Motown, Smokey Robinson, so many amazing Motown artists uh, graced that stage for the 25th year anniversary, but it was something about seeing the Jackson 5 for the first time, mm -hmm. and Michael stepping out and doing Billie Jean for the first time, where I was like, man, I'm hooked wow. at three years old. This is what I want to do. I want to make people feel that way. I want to be an entertainer, not just sing. I want to dance. I want to do it all. And I turned around and looked at my mom and said, mom, this is what I want to do with my life. And she looked at me and said, well, if you want to do that, son, you have to start now. Wow. So at three years old, I got up, started learning how to do the moonwalk. So when I went into elementary school, I knew how to do the moonwalk. So I was that guy cool. at recess. <laughs> so uh, yeah, man, I've been wanting to do this since three years old. Very cool. What about you, Renee? When did this whole um, career path start for you? Oh my gosh. Um, so it really didn't start for me until after, <laughs> until I got out of college. I did have an idea of wanting to be an actor in high school, but okay. it was deterred by a classmate saying, oh, you're, you would be too old in high school um, as an actor. And so just went to college. And then as time went on, I actually wanted to be a makeup artist in the industry. And that just never, it never really happened. Mm -hmm. um, God called me to do acting instead. And so I ended up getting in acting classes and then it just continued so very that's, cool that's how that happened. yeah i would now. love to talk about how you are part of the blind like that <laughs> blew my mind when i found out about come on, come it on. so tell me about how did that happen oh my gosh okay so that was definitely a god thing okay. so um lance and i we uh, we were so excited we went to a christian center because that's just like another part of our family second home second home and so um if it actually pastor tim he was like hey the um, director's wife is here. Um, they're coming into town and they're going to be filming. He he didn't know. I had no clue what it was at that time, what film it was. Yeah. And uh, it seems like they were needing some, some more actors and things of that nature. So he introduced me to his wife. 
and said, hey, she's an actor. And she was like, really? And so it just kind of, from that moment, got the, gave her my information. He contacted me. I auditioned for it, had to audition. Very cool. And he liked it, and so then I just got casted. I didn't have an eight. I mean, no agent, no nothing. It was just like bam. Yeah. And that was definitely a god, a god moment. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Were you a fan of Duck Dynasty before this whole thing? I look. I know about Duck Dynasty. Yes. There. You know, it's amazing his testimony Absolutely. and the whole family. Yeah. And the film. When we got to go see the film, I was blown away just at how how real it was right. it wasn't i mean it just it was such a real film yeah. and um i enjoyed it it was it was cool being in the film but i honestly kind of you know you forget you're just like in the moment of the film so yeah, yeah. i would love to talk about how um i love how media can reach people Absolutely. i love how music mm -hmm. can reach people Absolutely. i love how movies can reach people so what do you think happens to someone when they're watching a movie like that? Or what do you think happens to someone when they're listening to your music, knowing that you're a Christian? Do you think the Holy Spirit just finds his way in, into the heart? Do you think it's the story that impacts people? What do you think happens? I'll let you elaborate on movies. Well, I think the story um, plays a huge part. Yeah. I don't think you have to preach to people. The Absolutely. story can tell it. And I'll give you an example. Um, a gentleman that I knew a long time ago, um, Mr. Spring, he passed away a long time ago. But he, I asked him, I said, why is it that it's not every Christian film? I'm not knocking Christian films at mm -hmm. all. But at the time, you know, there wasn't a lot of um, films, Christian films that were just like, people wanted to go see. And I was trying to understand why that right. was. And he said, well, Verne, it's like this. You either... It, when people are creating a film, if the plot is this small and the you know the preaching is this big, you're going to lose your audience because wow. it's almost like you're you're preaching to the fourth wall. Well, mm -hmm. you actually are, yeah. you know. And people aren't unintelligent; they know when you're preaching at them. When you could just tell your story, mm -hmm. and they'll be more impacted by that, you know. Wow. Yeah, that's so, so good. So I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's so good. Have you guys seen The Sound of Freedom? No, no, no we it is. Seen that. It is so good. Okay. So it's a human trafficking movie, obviously. Right. And the main character is the guy who played Jesus in Passion of the Christ. Yes. Okay. Okay. And so it is not. A, they don't openly preach at you, which is absolutely beautiful. What impacted me mm. is there's a scene, and the guy, uh, some man, was like, "Why are you so involved in this? Why do you want to save these kids?" And there is a line in there, and he says, "Because God's children aren't for sale." Mm. And that right there that is the hook line touched my that. heart. And wow. so I love that you said that it, it's not the preaching because maybe that can turn people off, you know? And so what about you, Lance? How do you think that music touches people's hearts? Uh, well, ultimately, music comes from the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, instruments, instrumentation, all of that was created by the Creator. Mm -hmm. uh, when I approach songwriting, I first have to pray about it and Holy Spirit picks the subject matter, mm. and then we go into it. So every song that you hear from Lance Thompson is spirit-led, is Holy Spirit-led. So my goal and my mission, my purpose is to plant the seed, water it, and allow God mm. to grow it. Very so good. when you hear a Lance Thompson song, you might have a feeling that you might not be able to put your finger on. You might not be able to understand it, mm -hmm. but I'm here to let you know that is Holy Spirit, that is God tugging on you saying, hey, wow. I've always been here, I'll always be here, but I want you to invite me in. Mm. I want you to acknowledge me and I want to build a relationship with you wow. because that is my purpose in life. My purpose in life is to build up, edify, and encourage others to understand that you have plan and purpose on your life. Mm. But it's all about knowing whose you are. Right. And then that'll tie in the who you are. Right. But when you know whose you are, it kind of puts all those pieces together. So that's what my music is for. My music is secular music. I'm a secular artist. But I'm not giving you songs about, um, about sex per se. I'm not giving you songs about selling drugs and things of that nature. Those are things that happen in the world, and I understand why people make songs about that subject matter. But my subject matter is really all about love. It's about what God has brought me through where he is taking me, and what I'm currently in today. Mm. Uh, it's about relationships, it's about struggle, it's about hurt, it's about pain, it's about rejoicing, it's about laughter, it's about happiness. All of those things are 
basically a part of the human makeup because we all have walked through those yeah. moments in life. But when you have Holy Spirit who is leading you and you're on that narrow path, you also have other people that are walking the same narrow path and you have other people that are mm -hmm. walking a wide path. But we want more people on the wide path to come to the narrow. Yeah. And it's not me preaching to you. It's me telling you, my name is Lance Thompson. I'm a young man and I've gone through hurt, pain, through relationships. Um, and I'm here to let you know that God is real and God loves you. Yeah. Whether you give that love back, he still loves you and he wants you to have a relationship with him. Yeah. How do you protect your heart from pride and fame? Mm. Meaning oh, man. in the sense of like, I'm Lance Thompson, mm. I'm like, I'm the guy, you know? How do you how do you protect your heart? Uh, it's a scripture that pops out to me. This is when uh, Jesus is talking to a young man, he's a rich man, as a matter of fact, young rich man, he's asking him, Man, have you done this? Have you done that? And he's like, Lord, I've checked all that off my list. I've done all of that. And basically, in a nutshell, he tells him to deny himself, pick up his, pick up his cross and follow him. Mm -hmm. And the young man obviously walks away. He doesn't do that. Yeah. He, doesn't, he can't, can't give away all of his money right. and follow Jesus. Uh, that really stood out to me because if God loves me so much that for one, he created me, I'm a one of one. Mm -hmm. um, God has given me an anointing on my life that I don't deserve. He has given me talents that I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Um, so to use them for his glory and to understand that I am just a piece in the fabric, I am a piece of the puzzle, and understanding that I have to use it for his glory. Because once glory is bestowed on me by the world, that's when I fall. Mm. But if glory is bestowed on me by the Father, that's eternal. Wow. That's really good. What about you, Renee? What would you say? How do you protect your heart working in a... Uh, a realm of filming and working the realm of music uh well having a thankful heart and i'll tell you i i talked to my dad about this a while ago because that was a concern i'm like dad how do you stay humble and not be haughty and yeah. and think yourself better than everybody else and he said well you know what if you're always thankful to the lord and you thank him for everything they people give you praise you just say praise god you know i'm thankful lord thank you mm. that's gonna keep you grounded because yeah. you know who your source is hey guys i just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this episode of sip and all i want to challenge you with something if you have a friend or a family member that you know will enjoy this episode stop what you're doing and send it to them right now if this is a message that they need or if you know that they'll just enjoy it Send it their way so we can keep growing the Sip and All family. All right, guys, thank you for sharing. Let's get back to the episode. What would you say to someone who has a dream in their heart, but they're too afraid to go after that dream? Because someone says they can't. Someone says that's not the reality. You have to do someone, something else with your life. What would you say to someone listening right now? Because I really believe this. Someone has a dream deep down in their heart, and they got to go after it. What would you say to tell them right now? Oh, wow. I, I deal with this uh, <laughs> a lot and dream big. Um, I have this conversation with, with young people all the time because you have so many people that have big dreams, uh, have big goals in life. But the circle that they have been placed in by birth or the circle that they have chosen to be in can sometimes be negative. Mm -hmm. uh, what I will tell you, young person, or e whatever age you're at, uh, I will tell you that fear is an illusion, that yeah. fear is not real. Uh, what you have to replace fear with, you have to replace fear with confidence and joy. And the only place that I know personally that you can find joy, you'll find joy in your word, prayer, and fellowship. Now, this might be going out to someone who is not a believer, but I dare you, I wanna challenge you. Pick up the Bible and open it to Genesis 1. Read that first chapter. And then if you don't believe in God, I dare you to say, take a step back and say, hey, God, if you are real, reveal yourself to me. Mm. That'll cancel all doubt. And that joy that I speak about that I walk in daily, I'm so thankful that I get to walk in it. Yeah. Um, it will reach you. Yeah. I guarantee you it will reach you. And what's beautiful, Lance, is that he will reveal himself. Yes, he will. Every if time. you have the heart of saying, Lord, show yourself to me, he will. Every time. That was part of my testimony. So when I first went to church, I was I was not saved, obviously. Um, I felt like I was too dirty to be there at church. Mm. I felt like I wasn't accepted. So I stepped outside and I was like, God, if you're real, show yourself to me. And it happened to be, I didn't, there wasn't like a, 
an angel came down or <laughs> yeah. something m- miraculous happened. My youth pastor walked outside and he prayed with me and he talked with me. And then I found out he didn't know that I was outside. Just something told him to go outside. Wow. Mm. And so the fact that I asked the Lord, show me something, and he put on my youth pastor's heart to go outside, that's something that you need. And so when you ask God to show yourself, it might not be, like I said, an angel coming into your room. Now, I'm saying he, he could show up in your room, you know, because I've heard so many stories like that, but he can use people. And Absolutely. that's why the body is so important. And so, Renee, do you have anything to add to that? Man, I don't know. <laughs> it was good. I mean, it's, good. It was really yeah. good. Yeah, I just want to encourage people, if you have a dream, write your dreams down and make sure you're wise who you share your dreams with. That's good. Yeah. I think sometimes so people can mean well, and they are in your corner, but they may not see the vision that you see. Yeah. And then there could be some people that don't have your best interest at heart at all, and yeah. they're going to just bash it to begin with. So be wise who you impart your dream to. I would just, that's that's one of the biggest things that Absolutely. I would say, that's be huge. wise, yeah. That's so cool, because as I was starting this podcasting thing, I was thinking about an, making an episode talking about my vision, talking about what I want to do, and then I did some research, and it's a scientific proven fact that if you share your vision with everyone, there's a greater chance that it won't happen, mm. because people are going to down talk you, people are going to become jealous of you, mm. and keeping your vision I guess sacred, mm-hmm. keeping it mm-hmm. to yourself in between you and God and sharing it with a spouse or really with a mentor is that's where dreams happen. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And so something I'm really passionate about, and I'd love for you to touch on this, Lance, is inspiration is the beginning to do something, but it's not everything, mm-hmm. right? So you were inspired by Michael Jackson. Absolutely. You were inspired. So what what did you do to feed that inspiration? Absolutely. Um, well, I had to really use my hands and feet and get to work. Absolutely. Um, it, just because you have someone that you look up to uh, doesn't mean that the story becomes easier. Mm. It does not mean that the road that's paved in front of you becomes easier. Yeah. Uh, you actually have to do some work. Uh, totally. you, um, in my instance, in entertainment, you have to, just because you can sing doesn't mean you can't sing better. Just because you know the proper ways of breathing technique doesn't mean you can't get a vocal coach and learn uh a deeper understanding of breathing. There's so many facets in entertainment as far as acting and, and singing and even composing yeah. um, that you have to really do the work and learn and study and, and grow in it. And the beautiful thing about the Lord, when we were talking about vision earlier, um, the Lord will give you a vision and show you what it looks like and he'll tell you to hold it dear But he'll also place people in your corner, whether it be a spouse, whether it be a mentor, Mm. that will help you see the vision clearer. And it's someone you can bounce the vision off of, bounce those ideas off of, and they'll give you honest feedback. That's so good. Feedback that'll help build you up. Absolutely. Not feedback to tear you down. Yeah. And moving into like being inspired by someone, um, how do you protect yourself from idolatry or Mm. protect your identity? Because it's like, I want to do that. And maybe God's like, well, I didn't call you to do that. I called you to do something along those lines, but the way Lance Thompson would do it. Because God did not call you to be Michael Jackson. No, he didn't. God did not call you to be some actress. He called you to be your individual self. Absolutely. So how do you find your true identity while um, being inspired by someone else? Mm. You want to tackle it? Well, I can just tell you for me one having a relationship with the lord yeah absolutely number one and then two i believe in liking yourself Mm. liking yourself it's surprising that there's people that don't like themselves like look in the mirror look in the mirror and say i like me Mm. i love myself yeah if you can love yourself and that's the I think that's one of the first steps and then understanding who you are as an individual. Right. I think mm-hmm. that's gonna help you along the way so that's that huge. you're not trying to mimic someone else because you don't know who you are, you don't even like yourself. And yeah. I think that will keep you away from a lot of 
cray cray stuff too. Mm, that's huge. I would love to add to that. Yeah. And, and this is pulling from my own story. Uh, when I was younger, like I said, I looked up to Michael Jackson. I looked up to guys like Stevie Wonder and Usher and the list goes on and on and on. So when I started to develop my singing ability, I would always pull from the sounds that they have already provided. Cool. So really, I did not have a true singing or musical identity. My identity mm. was found in other artists. Yes, it carried me along my younger career and people loved the way I sound and you could mimic and do covers of other people's music. But when it got time for me to write my first song, which I wrote my first song at nine, wow. uh, but I went at it the wrong way because I went at it as if I was Michael, as if I was Usher, if, it's I, if I was Stevie Wonder, so on and so forth. So you really didn't get to hear Lance yeah. until I got older and I really started to find out whose I was. Mm. Man, and he helped so me find out who I am. Yeah. So that's why when you hear Lance Thompson's music, it, it's Holy Spirit filled, absolutely. But the sound you're hearing was given to me by the Lord. Mm -hmm. I can never take credit for what I create or what I do because it was all given to me. Mm -hmm. I'm just being a good steward of it. Yeah. Wow, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Something that I heard and it really impacted me because as a young individual, I struggle with my identity. And uh, John Foreman from Switchfoot, he said this, and he says, um, the only person you can't get rid of is yourself. <laughs> mm. So learn to love yourself. Learn that's to so learn yeah. what you like, what you dislike. And I was yeah. like, man, that's so good. Like that You is. can get rid of anyone, but you can't get rid of who I am. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd love to touch on um, the last few minutes that we have on the companies that you guys do. So can you hit on what each of them do like, on a yeah. deeper level? Absolutely. So uh, we have LVT Enterprise. LVT Enterprise deals with everything uh, involving media and entertainment. So uh, we <coughs> write movies, we film movies, cool. we we'll, we write television shows, film television shows, we've created commercials. Um, one of the biggest things that we do currently, and it ties to my music career, is we uh, film our own music videos. So every music video you see on the Lance Thompson music platform on YouTube was filmed by LBT wow. Enterprise. It was actually directed by my wife, uh, so which good. is such a blessing, Proverbs 31 woman. Yeah. Uh, so everything is done in-house. Uh, we have a very small team, but it is a God-fearing team, and we have just been blessed with the talents God has placed in these individuals mm. so that everything really does work. Yeah. Um, and, and one thing I want to say to want to want to say to dreamers out there, uh, God will orchestrate your team. He will orchestrate the finances. You just have to continue to keep the faith. So uh, I, don't, I don't know where that came from. I'm pretty sure that was Holy Spirit, but I just wanted to say that before we so uh, jumped into uh, Dream Big. Uh, Dream Big. So yeah, I'll let you I talk about that. also wanted to caveat on LVT Enterprise, LVT Enterprise. When we first started, we I was producing. You know, we didn't even have. The company, Correct. but we had um, friends like Kyle Klinicki. He came on board. Uh, we hired him as the director, and so I actually learned. So there was an experience that we got, and then also Anthony uh, Gutierrez and uh, oh, I forgot his other. And, uh, and we had Trey John, John White. Trey John, John White. Yeah. And so we wanted to give honor to them, Absolutely. but for in the beginning, Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah. for helping us, and they did a few uh, music videos with us as Correct. well. But um, for Dream Big, man. <laughs> I was we it's crazy because it spun off of LVT Enterprise. Absolutely. We were living in our we were we haven't gotten to like exactly where we want to be, but we're on our way there yeah. within our dream and we yeah. were like, man, it'd be fantastic if we can reach out to young kids. How can we do that? And mm -hmm. so it just morphed into this program that we put together and we connected with different schools and we wanted to bring our team out so we literally have a team wow. dancers dj you know lance being able to motivate along with entertaining the children so mm -hmm. that they can understand what their dream is so it's just like it's just amazing how dream big came about and we're still moving forward this is wow. our very first year putting this program on cool. so as we're closing, can you tell us where we can find more information about your guys' businesses if we want to tune in, if we want to get a part, be a part? A absolutely. Uh, you can find anything music-related from Lance at LanceThompsonMusic.com. If you want to find anything about Dream Big Interactive Initiative, you can go to DreamBigII.com. If you want to know anything about LBT Enterprise, you can actually go to LBTEnterprise.com. Enterprise mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. So, guys... 
Thank you for tuning in to Sip on All. We're so thankful to have Lance Thompson and his amazing wife, Renee. You guys can now like and subscribe on YouTube. Please share. We have surpassed 75 subscribers. Ooh, so yay. that is huge. And so you guys can listen on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And don't be afraid to buy me a cup of coffee because I'm thirsty. Come, on. Come, on. Come on. on. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.